Hello there. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Regina. Hello, everybody who joined to us. Do you know what I brought to you? I brought uh, something inside of this parcel. Yes, and we will unlock it. We will unbox it together. And I want to say the biggest thank you that I ever, ever had in my life to, to Jackie and to Regina who sent this to me. I'm so excited to open it. I even <laughs> wore, how to say it, wear this uh, sticker pin with... Uh, Uncle Sam, yes, and uh, today we're gonna unbox this uh, parcel. It is uh, maybe gift, maybe something else. We will kind of learn through this, but I had a birthday on 5th December. It means that maybe, uh, yes, it is something for this date. And I will not show you some information here. If it is so watchable, I will blur right now, okay? I will use right now blurring. Please prepare your word. Water, please prepare your milk, please prepare your coffee, tea or something that you drink and let's unbox it together. It will be maybe a long video, maybe it will be short, sometimes I will drink water because my throat sometimes is sorry. Today I was excited, by the way, I will create one video, I already recorded some parts when I was receiving it and I was creating some parts of video when I was going to the, to the post office and I was really excited when I looked like uh, this th this post office worker was <laughs> was bringing it and I was oh Jesus it is real because Jackie sent me a photo with uh, with this parcel like uh, she sent me a photo of this parcel and uh, I was like oh good amazing and then I see this in real life and it means that uh, this this parcel had how to say it, uh, have more than, uh, how much, 5,000 kilometers of kilometrage of distance she was walking it for a short period of time and uh, during coronavirus without mask, but with, uh, a, with good defense. Okay, it is something that is I don't know <laughs> words. Okay, firstly, I started to plan what to do with this uh, box first. Let's do first guesses. Guesses what's inside. Inside, I guessed, I wrote it when I was uh, doing <laughs> doing uh, some of the bath bath uh, routine. I was <laughs> I was writing on my phone this way. Maybe it is a book of uh, Roald Dahl, more books. We have this uh, 27 books, uh, some of the letters said to us, and uh, we have here stickers and National Park books. Book. Okay, we know that maybe it will be books. Firstly, I thought before reading this card, I thought we have this card here. Card when uh, information, information postcard, like uh, detailed description of contents. Yes, and uh, firstly, I thought that maybe it is a flag of America, biggest one, like this way. Maybe it is uh, some clothes, maybe it is something else, uh, because it is so, like, uh, weighty, and uh, it is uh, it is smaller than uh, previous, previous parcel that uh, Jackie sent to us, and uh, it is... Uh, but it is a waiter. It means that maybe something, I don't know, maybe it is metallic construction, maybe a brick, maybe something else. And, uh, okay, it will be brick of knowledge. And um, also, uh, my guess is Roald Dahl books, maybe more Roald Dahl books, because I love him. Also, I love his, uh, his uh, creative works. Maybe it is Dr. Seuss' uh, Cat in the Hat uh, sequel. And also, or maybe prequel, if uh, he has one, and uh, maybe it will be inside of it. Um, who is Grinch? This way of speaking, uh, like a Grinch, and uh, maybe it will be inside. Also, maybe it is something about mystery. I don't know because I showed her my books about uh, Stephen King, and uh, Jackie likes uh, mystery too. And uh, I also think that inside maybe William Shakespeare will be. Because uh, I was speaking about uh, classics on my channel. I, right now I'm trying to connect my dots that I already said what I love. I was speaking about uh, classics, yes. Uh, classics maybe it will be inside. Because before it was uh, the Scarlet le uh, Letter and SLA dying. And also, what's more, uh, it was uh, New Testament, super mega classics. 
and <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Okay, also maybe it's inside uh, what I wrote it on my phone. Gary Vaynerchuk bo book, maybe to, it will be inside and uh, maybe something about America and maybe something... That's all, okay? Maybe one more book of Stephen King. But what's inside more? I mentioned already like 10. 10 positions or something, but what's inside more, we will learn right now. 27 plus one national parks book, it is really nice. I will learn it because in Russia we don't have English books so much. We don't have them. We we have th some like uh, maybe super mega popular, like uh, what's uh, what's type of, uh, like classics. We have Conan Doyle, we have uh, Charles Dickens of uh, Pickwick, uh, Pickwick paper, uh, we have uh, Oliver Twist. By the way, maybe Charles Dickens will be inside. Let's check it. Okay, how to open it? It will be a long process. I will use it like uh, who? Oh, one girl from Shining with... Uh, I remember one man was inside of this. I don't remember names, sorry for it, but I remember what was inside. Like, it's Johnny. Here's Johnny, okay. And uh, let's open it. Need to be careful because it is so sharp. Sharp and uh, like sharpest tool in the shed. Shrek music. Okay, you maybe can skip some moments because something maybe will not be super interesting how I will open it. Or maybe you can watch and uh, pray, <laughs> pray for something that I will not hurt myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because maybe it will be so... Uh, and need, no need to hurt books inside too. Maybe it will be so like uh, not super tough, rough. And uh, maybe I will transparent everything. Okay, need to be careful here because I, I don't know. S can you see it? Okay, let's do this here, okay? I will sit here. Maybe you can hear me. I will do this type of things, okay? Some preparation, more volume. No, need no forget about turn it less. Okay, I will open it right now. Well, this way. Yours. Okay. Next here will be nice parcel. Ni nice box. By the way, we, ha we don't have them in Russia. We maybe have, but without this design. We have some uh, Russian stylistic design. It is almost like... I don't have... Uh, like... Paper. Paper of... Uh, of this color. Of chocolate color. Of chocolate, of uh, carton, maybe. But carton not white. But uh, of color... Let's say it correct. Mm, color of chocolate, yes. Okay, we will so soon will be inside. We are getting close. That's all. Okay. Need to make some off camera things to show you. And then need to invest time on learning emotions. No need to next watch. Like, need to feel it by yourself. Oh, something more. Okay. Oh, I see something already inside. It is the incredible journey. Sha Shayla Bornford. I didn't know. I don't know what is it. But uh, it, it sounds like Shia LaBeouf. Okay. Oh, smells. Smells like someone was smoking. <laughs> really? I don't know what's what's the Ah by the way need to make less volume. I hope so. Or more. Okay. To hear everything. And then let's unbox last stage. Need to drink water before. <laughs> Some preparations. And let's unbox it. Last stages. Are you ready? First tape gun. Second and third. Third part of the formula. 
formula of unboxing. Oppa! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Is it... What is it? Is it closed? Really? <laughs> I thought... One moment I will open it. Right now. Heavy cotton. Heavy cotton. We don't have it. We have only cotton in Russia. I did, uh, and it is heavy cotton. I don't know what's the difference, but it, it's exciting. <laughs> and color of... Uh, of nice... Of nice... I don't... I know when I was playing Heroes of Might and Magic in uh, on computer, it was with the color of one team, the same. Berus, Lazur. In in uh, Russian language, it is Beruzovy цвет, means uh, Beruzovy color. Okay. Oh, some USA. Oh, is it M A G A? <laughs> Sorry for my. This is called a kuzi. It sounds like kazoo. Look. I thought it would be funny to have a Russian canned drink in an USA cuisine for dedication. How to use it? Is it glove? <laughs> ah, no, it is. Maybe need to use this way. I don't know. Need to learn tutorial. Where's tutorial for it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm shaking my hands right now shaking look really and uh, I don't know okay it is something cozy cozy okay like cousin cousin or kazoo nice USA I have one more thing dedicated to USA oh I started recorded at the uh, <laughs> okay all fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Yes, I thought it will be inside. I thought, but uh, I thought it before, before, before. Let's see this. Wow, with a picture of uh, really, look, with fr like from movie. Wow, amazing. Is this uh, like we had uh, twenty five mescalines uh, and uh, okay, not propagandic things, and uh, let's. Uh, Take a look at this clothes. Okay, let's wear it. Maybe I will wear it even on st on this stream. This uh, a nice pocket, by the way. Amazing pocket. And I don't want to hurt it. I don't want to harm. And maybe it will be forced, forced uh, thing made in USA. Maybe it will be China. Okay, what's made in Honduras? <laughs> Jesus, I, di I didn't have uh, wearing of a made in Honduras, okay? <laughs> really, because, but it's a funny word in Russian language we, when we say it. Let's learn what is always improve. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ, it is really always improve Saldele. Yes, it is our... I will wear it. I will wear it. I will wear it uh, on... Uh, on my videos, on the Russian videos, uh, when I will have like a full shot, maybe even today I will wear it, and it will be amazing. Always improve Saldelia, okay? And let's use it. One moment, you can skip some like 15 seconds, and I will rewear it, okay? Uncle Sam, you will be here, you will be like a waiter and uh, officer of uh, police, like guard, you will be uh, wait here to not uh, for a reason to nobody steal it, okay? <laughs> Let's rewear it. One moment, I will be so so here. I already. <laughs> Jesus, it looks like erotic things. I'm already without a t shirt. And now. One right hand, left right hand. Amazing. <laughs> this this looks nice. We I will do ironing and uh, then everything will be fine. But now it is even nice. Hurry, really look. Always improve still daily. It is our motto. And uh, and really looks nice. Look, it is uh, it is my favorite. Uh, not my favorite, but uh, my mom's favorite color. My. My own favorite color, I don't know, I like every color, but uh, sometimes for mood, I like white, I, I like what's, what uh, will be un, uh, unseen when I'm sweating. 
<laughs> here I will be sweating. It means that maybe sometimes I I will rewear it. Okay, that's why sometimes I wear black t-shirts to not. But I'm not a person who produces like a smell. I produce kind of water. That's all. Okay, let's open it next. Okay, next need to need a uh, drink of water, and we will go then further faster. Mm-hmm. So big amount of things. Thank you a lot, Jackie. Thank you a lot, Regina. Or Regina. I, I googled how to say it correct. Two ways of saying it. It... I hope it fits. Yes, it fits. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. We have many... Uh, Jackie, by the way, showed a lot of like dedication and uh, of things... Uh, of uh, striving, striving means that going to the goal to bring more uh, happiness, to bring more like caring. It is amazing. Caring is sharing. <gasps> GRR Tolkien. I haven't, I have not read this one. And uh, wow, Jesus, it's amazing. Booth uh, paperback. Okay, the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit. I uh, don't miss the enchanting prelude to the Lord of the Rings. Wow, that's amazing. It's really nice. I will read it. I will read it like, uh, like, uh, like what? Uh, like I recording this video with the same dedication. Okay, G R R Tolkien, amazing. An epic motion picture coming soon. Coming soon. It means that it was uh, so long time ago. So history, historical. I like historical books uh, with, uh, with some histories. Corduroy. I don't know who is here. It is uh, Corduroy. Corduroy. It is maybe a bear. Looks like. Uh, did you see uh, game uh, FNAF? F N A F. You can Google it. <laughs> it is some modern games. If you are like older than forty years old, or maybe even twenty, it is uh, Friday night uh, something. And inside, wow, pictures. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Books with pictures. It's amazing, and uh, it's amazing to learn English, and to learn also drawing style, because uh, it is a drawing style, look, it is like a... <gasps> Maybe it will be a story about uh, that boy lost his bear. Maybe, I don't know, but maybe. Okay. Next, uh, the Indian in the cupboard. Ah, I thought that it is Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indian in the cupboard. The best novel of the year. Look, the Indian in the cupboard. And uh, I don't know what it's about. Maybe it is... Ah, I know. History of America it says to us that... Um, that before it it was uh, there we were Indians on their on their what's it on their earth on the ground okay I will place it on the floor floor is clear I mean that clean okay Anna Frank the diary of a young girl yes I I wanted this book I. Uh, I, I thought, buy, not buy, buy, not buy, buy, not buy, hmm, interesting, and uh, yes, we have this, the diary of a young boy, uh, a girl, and uh, it is uh, a nice sh story should be, because it is about memorial time, and uh, with uh, real emotions inside, okay, and uh, some of the, I don't know, is it style, or is it drawings, or something, interesting, some of the graved, letters okay it's maybe because uh, some oh, wow <laughs> harry potter with with an amazing with an amazing cover this type of cover you will not find in russia any uh, even in russian language i remember when i was a child we we had it in my home with um, we had it in my home with a cov cover of this type in Russian language. And uh, this type of covers 
you will not find anywhere in Russia only with a special special how to say it uh, special order you can find it special offer but uh, this type uh, you will not find you will find like black colors uh, as uh, like 20 years editions but it's amazing thank you thank you a lot i did not read uh, for enix and it will be really nice and it's so big it's so big amount of words tools that i can use uh, then in my writing too amazing thank you thank you okay what's inside love and forever uh, ah, Love You Forever, written by Robert Munch, illustrated by Shella McGraw. Uh, looks like in Russian language we have Moy Dadir. It means that uh, about maybe dirty, dirt, I mean that uh, not clean, not clean uh, boy, dirty boy who spoiled everything and then something appeared and uh, healed him. <laughs> like from this sh sh uh, mind diseases. Okay, <laughs> next, Uncle Tom Skaven. Yes, I, I on, I, I guess it, I guess it too, but I did not mention it. Yes, Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom's Cabin. It will be interesting to learn because it is so book about, uh, like I hope that yes, need to do this way to not blur it everywhere. Okay, and uh, I think that this book will be so exciting because. Uh, because it is story, story of America, and uh, I don't know what to say more. <laughs> and okay, let's let's place it here. Okay, don't need to drop it. So big amount. Thank you a lot. Thank you. I so appreciate it. Oh, and here's <gasps> roll doll. Yes, amazing. And specific uh, even thing here. Maybe it will be okay. Let's guess what's inside. Maybe it will be witches. Maybe it will be beefy G. Maybe it will be. Uh, Crocodile? Something else? Okay, let's look inside. Maybe I guessed it correct. Boy. Next it is uh, the witches. Yes, I guessed it correct because I was looking at it too. And Danny and the champion of the world. Yes, it will be interesting to, to read maybe Danny and the champion of the world because it is so like... Uh, I, uh, I think that it is about like... Championship. I like championships and things like this. The thrilling sequel to Boy. Wow, Boy. And here is some letter. Yes, or something like this. Let's open it. Oh no, it's uh, only. Ah, it is not hurt. Uh, to not hurt uh, this. Or maybe to 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 guess. <laughs> Jackie predicted uh, that I will guess right now, and she prepared it to cover it or something, okay? Also. I will read it right now, okay? And uh, you can skip. Bell. Personalized item. It is? Is it personalized? Nice, nice. Your English book collection is a great resource that will last a lifetime. Knowledge plus skill plus talent plus passion. It is equal success. Exactly. Exactly. And also, um, passions, plus one more. Mm -hmm. And as always, thank you for talking your, taking your audience with you on your journey. Love, your biggest Kentuckian fan, Jackie. <laughs> thank you, thank you, amazing, amazing. I don't know how to write this J. It is uh, this letter, and uh, here is J, like... I don't know, like, I can guess that it is like a whistle, <laughs> yes, when we use it with another way. Okay, thank you a lot, Jackie, I am so excited to to receive it, thank you a lot. I don't know how to describe it, I, I want to send you, one moment, D.
scans. Yes, maybe. Okay, and uh, I want to say thank you a, a, a lot. And uh, I want to, how to say it, uh, bring you something back and uh, to give it because it is so amazing. I, I don't, I don't know. It is uh, like nobody gifted me so much for my whole life and uh, and now we have it thank you thank you a lot okay it will be here our letter why didn't i read it because uh, jackie wrote me on uh, on her email if you want you can read it silently to feel it okay thank you thank you a lot Fyodor Dostoevsky, oh, Crime and Punishment. I know this book and I will reread re it too. Uh, and uh, also I have the idea too. And uh, I have read it too. Yes, amazing. And uh, here is uh, the Crime and Punishment. It is uh, my last book that I've read before my parents, uh, parents went away. Like uh, one day or two days before they divorced. And uh, we went aside from my father in 2013. I've read this book and uh, I've read this book and I remember all, almost everything what's inside of this book because it was before this uh, time of divorcing. Yes, and uh, this book uh, means a lot to me and uh, like, m how to say it, memories a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Vocabulary building, Mank Joshi. It's so interesting. I don't know what's to focus on about. <laughs> like this or that or this or uh, thus. <laughs> Homonyms, homophone, homophones, homographs. Vocabulary building, Mank, Mank Joshi. Okay, it is uh, to practice. It will be really nice practice. And uh, also, because my English is improved, I sometimes started, uh, I start uh, to learn, I started to, uh, to teach another people on my Russian channel and I bring them uh, like skills uh, and bring them techniques, methods to learn English faster and uh, I will share this book to them too, like contains, I will rethink it and I will create content about it, it's amazing. Okay. What's next? I hope that I need to discover. I don't want to show addresses. Okay. Amazing. Next. What to check next? Halls. Luis Saka. I don't know who is he. Because uh, I have, have ev never ever heard about this name. But about uh, like uh, whom... Uh, about Scarlet Letter, this name of uh, long words, I didn't know too. And Franklin, I didn't know about him too. And maybe it is something special. What's inside? Stanley Yelnitz is under a curse. Curse. A curse that began with his no no good, dirty, rotten, pig stealing great, great grandfather. Wow. So, so like many words and descriptions. Okay. USA. Ghost metric. <gasps> That's amazing. It is what I needed. It is what I needed really because I I like uh, things of uh, how to say it uh, more scientific sometimes, uh, more uh, non-fiction and uh, it is so amazing because it is non-fiction plus physics. We don't have any like physics. Uh, we don't have uh, like uh, school school books in Russia about uh, about American uh, invest in investigations uh, how to say it investigations Leonardo da Vinci created many what please end this sentence <laughs> okay okay it is uh, so maybe you used it before like it was uh, even in your childhood maybe because it is so like with old design and uh, that's amazing what's uh, what's the 1970. Wow, amazing. And look, it is uh, maybe you can see this, but uh, it is a specific style of it. One and copies. Okay, USA goes metric. Okay, it is like about m uh, infographics. Infographics in this book. 
Next lecture, like the incredible journey, Sh Shayla Burnford. I did not hear uh, heard about her, and uh, it's interesting. It m maybe will be like uh, who wrote Martin Eden and uh, Fang. I forgot his name. London, Jack London. Maybe it will be like this way. Maybe it will be continuous uh, part of uh, of uh, where the red ferns uh, grow. Okay, maybe. Okay, and the incredible journey. We have two dogs and one cat. Yes. Yes. It maybe will be a friendship between them. Okay. The magician's nephew. I heard about ah. It it is Chronicles of Narnia. And by the way, I have the one like this way, like with the same style, with the same uh, cover stylistic of cover and maybe i even have number on it yes because here is number one and here is yes maybe we have one more book and it is number one two one moment i will check it yes number two number two there it will be first first part of it i didn't read it it will be interesting and by the way chronicles of narnia is the first book that i've uh, I've read in my childhood with a little bit of uh, yes I want this but no need to punish me to read books <laughs> like this way because uh, in my childhood not not punishment but uh, we have we we had requirements in our family that I need to read 10 to 50 pages a day and sometimes it was like a punishment mm -hmm. But now I understand that it was not a punishment, it was a really nice thing. But I didn't understand it before and I was always crying, no, I don't read to, to read it. I don't want to read it. American Tall Tales, Adrian Stoneberg. Ah, it, 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 is it that author? American Fairy Tales by L. Frank Baum. I didn't read uh, American Fairy Tales, I didn't read uh, anything like this because, uh, look, I didn't read it and uh, I when was my childhood I was reading Brothers Grimm maybe you know them Anderson also I was reading Charles Perrault you maybe know him I was reading him but American I have never ever read and Russian yes especially Russian American fairy tales I didn't read and we don't have them in Russia too because uh, it is kind of propagandic things and uh, but we understand that the world is the world and uh, every country every country should be together and unite okay let's uh, get in the head comes back <gasps> Jesus Christ! Yes, I wanted it. I wanted it really. I, I feel oh, Jesus Christ. I really feel. I, I'm excited about this because I'm so big. Uh, I'm a so big fan of Gary Vaynerchuk and his mindset, and it means a lot to me. Really, it means super mega, uh, duper powerful, amazing, nice, and uh, splendid thing that I have ever had, and. Uh, Amazing, amazing correction. Thank you, thank you a lot. Uh, thank you a lot, Jackie, for it. And uh, I'm so excited to read it, to learn information inside of this book. It is so interesting, too interesting to learn about things that he wrote because in Russia we don't have it, and uh, entrepreneur stuff we don't have in Russia in English. And this interesting, yes, I will place it here too. And uh, the cat in the head, need to place here too. And uh, the cat in the head, uh, yes comes back we have one i have read and also i recommended this book the cat in the head to my friends to to read it and if they will be near me i will share it to them and they found two two people already two per two, two persons said that it was amazing and uh, they started to learn english through the cat in the head they shared their journey i published in my instagram russian instagram that books that you can read about and uh, I also mentioned uh, Roald Dahl books, I mentioned uh, Charlotte's Web too and, uh, and other things and uh, some people 
I, I said to them that the cat in the hat, it is the first book that you should learn in English because it is so easy and so understandable and so nice. And here's our book, the cat in the hat come back glory, well, glory books, fill out and return this card. Ah, maybe it is, uh, wow, interesting. I have never had this. Look, something like letters or maybe it is advisory, like uh, ads but uh, we didn't have it in russia it's interesting even ads looks even ads look in english so interesting <laughs> and here is our the cat and the cat comebacks amazing thank you thank you a lot too i'm excited about this too but i'm super mega excited about crushing it book thank you thank you a lot the, the cat and the hat uh, comes back thank you thank you jackie and Re regina too Orange is the new black. My ears are... <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes. It is... How, how did you learn about it? Did I say this? Did I say this or not? Did I say it or not? Uh, I remember that I was showing showing some... Uh, like f f two weeks ago, I was showing you... I was showing you my vlog when I was walking and I was going to the store, bookstore in Russia, in Podolsk, and I was uh, looking at this book, I was reading it a little bit in Russian language, I even started uh, one day, but I I, I don't watch uh, t uh, sitcoms, I don't watch uh, some of the, the Office, I don't watch uh, Seinfeld, I don't watch uh, these things, but I understand that it's a cultural thing, and uh, but uh, I was interested in this book because I... I'm interested in um, prison experience because it is so like uh, not near us. Not because I want to go to prison and I want to be like a maniac and uh, cut their throats and <laughs> make all all uh, all uh, all our skies made by blood of smurfs or <laughs> yes. But uh, right now maybe we can guess that uh, that yes our. Our uh, skies are filled with blood of s'mores because someone cut their throats. Okay, <laughs> it's some of these psychopath uh, thoughts. Okay, and uh, orange is the new black. Amazing. Thank you. My ear in a woman's prison. And it is really, sh it is a memoir. It means that it is real life and it will be really interesting to learn because uh, Stephen King was writing about Shawshank Redemption. Maybe he had uh, some experience with talking with someone, but he have never ever, uh, he has never ever been in uh, in a prison and things got. And uh, it will be really interesting to learn uh, her experience. This girl, Piper Kerman. Piper. Peeper. Peter Peeper picked a pick Yes. To kill a mockingbird. Yes, I was watch I was looking at this book a lot. Like I was always going to the store. I remember that I before googled the best books in English. And uh, the key to kill a mockingbird in a Russian language, like uh, recommended one of the first. And uh, I was interested, what's inside, what's inside, and uh, now we will learn what's inside, and it is interesting cover. Ah, oh, maybe you had it uh, when you was a childhood, when you were a childhood, maybe someone else did it. Look, amazing, it is uh, like cover, not cover, but pages, this uh, tone of pages colored with uh, pencil. Good. A Christmas Carol. Maybe this book I read. One moment, I will open right now. A Christmas Carol. Marley was dead to begin with. Uh, there is no doubt whatever about that. The registry of his burial. Old Marley. No, maybe, yes, maybe not. Chart, the Ark, for instance, literally St. Paul's. I don't know. Because Jackie asked me, what's the first book that I have ever read in English? And I want to say that my first uh, book experience was with a book Charles Dickens of paper cl of uh, Pickwick's papers, or maybe it was with this book Charles Dickens' uh, Christmas Carol. I don't remember. Maybe another books we have also of uh, Charles Dickens. I don't remember what book I've read, but it was Charles Dickens. It is one hundred percent, and I've read uh, like three pages. 
of this book and that's all <laughs> i didn't understand anything because i my teacher in my school recommended my my english teacher in school recommended to read this but i was not a good student of english i was uh, like uh, a b c f students yes f students in english in in my school and uh, she recommended me to read charles dickens this type of book and i started to read it and uh, then i gave up <laughs> nice story <laughs> okay thank you gulliver's travels oh it's amazing and uh, this one book my mom gifted to me when i was uh, eight years old maybe in a russian language i didn't read it fully but uh, i started reading like 30 or 40 pages i've read in russian language it will be interesting to read next and in russian uh, in the russian um, paintings here he is lying some lilliputs and uh, in russian language i remember that um, what i remember that uh, it was more colorful <laughs> right now he looks like uh, arlanda bloom no he looks like Orlando Bloom, Bloom plus Tarzan plus, uh, I don't know, Treasure Island <laughs> thing around. Okay, I will read it. It will be interesting to learn. It will be like 10th, no, 6th grade of school learning. Good, good to refresh memories. Okay, and also we have... B wow, <laughs> I, I, I know this. I know this. We have... I. Th I always thought that Charlotte's Web and Babe is the same thing. Really, I always thought this thing, Babe, I was uh, watching this movie. I remember from my childhood when I was... Um, is it about Running Peak? Gallon Peak uh, or something? I remember when I was uh, in my childhood, I was uh, like eight years old and uh, I went from school and nobody was in home and I didn't have keys to open my door. Then I knocked to the door of uh, my uh, neighbor and asked, can you call to my uh, mother because I don't have, uh, don't have a telephone because I didn't have it in my uh, this eight years old. He said, yes, okay, he called. And uh, then my mom said that you can go inside to this uh, neighbor and sit and, uh, and do something and uh, no, no need to be messy and then uh, we were watching babe it is uh, maybe maybe babe if it's about running in the final almost final of this book will be when he was when this peak was running like in a like a horse riding yes horse uh, circling in, on hippodrome then maybe it is what i mean okay we have this Chronicles Narnia, we have this babe, amazing, thank you a lot, Jackie, thank you a lot, again, <laughs> Regina, I, I don't know, I will say, uh, I will continue saying thank you, thank you, thank you for maybe whole, <laughs> whole universe time, stickers, wow, stickers inside, wow, I didn't have it, in Russia we don't have them, because, uh, look, we were we all live in america maybe need to switch uh, some of the camera yes i i should do this before like 43 minutes ago america here maybe i will wear it somewhere where maybe on my um, journal i will i will use them it is eagle the symbol next it is like button or uh, like yes everything's okay it is something else it is number of states maybe it is stars the stars fault in our stars and this our eagle one more oh my god my nose and uh, it is our uh, states i know by the way from the previous video i learned that uh, there is uh, there are a lot of states in America, for example, Kentucky, Texas, New York, New Jersey, also New Mexico, also Ohio, Utah, 
Columbia or not Columbia? Yes, maybe. Uh, California, Alabama. Mm -hmm -hmm. What's more, New Hampshire, Maine. Maine is it? DC, Washington. Maybe something. Okay, need to need to learn it again. Maybe I will learn better. But I learned more than only New York before. I know only new only Texas, New York, and uh, and California. My first time of learning USA. Okay, USA, USA. Some of the stars here. Okay, some. I will I will not show you fully because uh, you maybe understand that uh, some stars here. Okay, and here is our cat in the hat. I don't know what does it mean this uh, why do you have cylindrical uh, hats I don't know because it is something interesting it is one more sticker of flag I love you say whoa why is it so like stereotypical to have this uh, symbol of hat because in Russia we don't have it we have specific hats but they are with um, with some fur Fur means uh, type of uh, clothes, like fur from some animals. And here is peace. Nice, amazing. I, I like the symbol. I'm not a hippie, but uh, I like it. Also, I love Amer wow, amazing design. Interesting. We don't have it in Russia. Let freedom ring. Like, wow, that's amazing. I will wear it somewhere here nice quote oh smile 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 da, 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 da. sunshine sunshine da, 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 da. it is song from my little pony <laughs> this is one symbol it is one more thing i don't understand in russia i know that uh, in soviet union there there were a lot of these symbols of uh, hats of this and hats of one finger or something like this. Not a middle finger, but uh, one finger or something like this. <laughs> Not loser finger, but uh, maybe this, yes. We had it and uh, like gloves and uh, right now they disappeared. I don't know why. And uh, it is what I know about America from my childhood. And here's our Statue of Liberty. Some flags. It is uh, Captain America shield, maybe. I didn't see Marvel's movie, but okay. And uh, here is flag. And here is star and flag again. Okay. Thank you. Next. Uh, okay. Stickers we have inside. Also. Your window into America the beautiful. One moment. I will. How to. I don't know how to do this correctly to not drop it one moment oh that's amazing it went okay is it atlas is it is it a map because I I thought that ah it is closed Calendar of the official charity of Americans National Parks. Amazing. 2020, 2021. Wow. And by the way, we have some also letters. We will read it finally. Okay. Right now. Some letters here about every item. And how to open it. Let's use right now not a knife, but sea source. Oh, something with it. Okay, that's okay. It's uh, like issues of post office, something like uh, on this side. We understand that uh, nothing is perfect, but it is better than nothing. It is even more than it is uh, better than uh, one hundred. Yes, I mean that uh, one hundred of uh, points of value. One moment, I will open. That's amazing. Okay, we'll open it. Some ASMR sounds. I will switch camera because now I see myself with a better view. Is it calendar? Ah, it's calendar, yes. One moment. I thought it is a map. Wow. Amazing. Maybe 
I will wear it here or here. Here I I don't know because uh, sometimes I record videos on Russian language and sometimes I need to, like a background of uh, without things. But here I will wear under uh, upper my upper my uh, what? Or maybe replace this uh, how to say, picture. Maybe maybe. Okay, here is January. Martin Luther King GR Memorial. In Russia, by the way, we have um, not uh, calendars of this way. Yes, it is calendar of. Uh, one moment, I will show. We have calendars that started from like December or November before, like two months before, but it is so actual, like relevant. Mm-hmm. July. Okay. One moment. November. I will show you because it was uh, maybe even Jackie didn't see this. Why? Why? Why it is here? Uh, post office workers. No, uh, it's not their fault. It is uh, like something. It's just December. Wow. And it is a lot of Breeze Canyon National Park. Let's learn another pictures. Beast Kine, Beast Shane, Beast Sign, Beast Sign National Park. I don't know how to pronounce. Okay, I will learn pronunciation. It is interesting because some facts and some dates. Really, look, you maybe can see this, maybe not, but near everything we have dates, specific dates. And today is what date? Today is uh, 15th of December. It means that let's open it. One moment, 15th of December, it's nothing, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vicksburg National Military Park, Breeze Canyon National Park. I, I know what I will do with this. I will do markering it. Yes, I always wanted to do something on calendar, but I didn't have a calendar. <laughs> uh, we have in Russia specific calendars where we do you know a specific tool to to show what's the date of today. I don't know. Do 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 you have it or not? I hope you understand me, because then uh, you may be what what uh, what are you saying about some throat soaring right now. I'm less energized when uh, my throat is soaring. I don't know why. I said about it already a lot of times. Oh. Let's read some things. You will see that some of these books aren't in a pristine condition. It, that's okay. As those in the first package. Some are obviously used and judging by their spines. They have been read many times since they were printed. But I felt that they were too good or of a sale price to pass them up, regardless of a little wear and tear. Ah, is it uh, garage sale? <laughs> I don't know, uh, but uh, is it is it uh, your uh, are they yours or uh, someone else's? It, it is interesting to know. Will will be. It, it doesn't matter whose, but uh, really interesting to know he, their stories. Okay, too good of a sale, uh, da, 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 regardless of a little wear and tear. Tear. There are a couple that had pen markings, including a doll. Okay, that I didn't realize when I purchased. Ah, you bought it. Okay, it, oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's history of someone. It is interesting, really, how someone thinks. But I'm sending them anyway. Thank you. Thank you. After carefully arranging and packing the box tightly this time. Yes. <laughs> okay. Amazing lesson is learned, and uh, with as much. I mean that as l uh, learned uh, through this like in the previous box i remembered uh, with as much as possible i remember i hadn't checked the box as thoroughly as last time i forgot to erase some more uh, that's okay that's okay made in pencil maybe you can do this later if you choose and it will be interesting for you to see what second hand books cost in america yes it is uh, what i wanted to say yeah, really to understand second did you buy it on garage sale, on a garage sale or on a 
but uh, what's garage sale on December, almost on November, October, <laughs> yes? Um, or some, uh, so, we, did you buy it in a specific shop? It will be interesting to know. Oh, by the way, let's check prices. For example, mm -hmm. Babe Book, one dollar. Booth number 466. I don't know what is it, booth number 466. It looks like a, we have the same marks in a, in a library. Buy book, one dollar. Oh, it is uh, really nice for second hand price, really, because in uh, in Russia, how much we have for almost the same, but less, 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 less. In Russian books, Russian books will be it all depends on book. But this type of book maybe will cost 20-25 rubles. 20-25 rubles, it is 30-40 uh, cents. But uh, also, what's the trending issue of, uh, of the book? I mean, the trending that is it so... How to say it correct? Is it so valuable? So, uh, so in a high demand or not? Yes, I hope you understand. And uh, by the way, that was a nice um, amazing idea to place it inside of uh, people who 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 use this calendar but here is something too maybe that's because of uh, yes we have some issues maybe i i guarantee you i guarantee you may, not not guarantee 99 percent of guarantee it is uh, like happened in on the russian on the russian side because uh, you maybe I don't know what's in America, but uh, in uh, Russia we have some issues that someone uses their boxes like this, their uh, like uh, <laughs> like from you know. Did you see uh, Ace Ventura? Ace Ventura one series <laughs> when he was fragile, fragile box. Yes, and he was like kicking it and uh, playing soccer, and then like a smashing, and uh, it is a Russian type of things. But maybe in your country the same thing. Smells. Smells like something I don't have. I mean that's... Uh, we don't have the smells in Russia? Interesting. It is... Smells like American home, maybe. Smells... <laughs> maybe it is only my imagination. Smells like uh, a whole... Uh, good perfume. Here's... And also, maybe some home, home of uh, 1995 to 2000, <laughs> I don't know, and maybe with wallpaper too, too. There was a mess up with the printing, so I did some... Okay, 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 old-fashioned copy and paste. Okay, that's amazing, that's good. We'll read right now, need to find... Maybe... Where's the beginning? We'll find... English building vocabulary. Okay, let's start from the first that we found. It is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. You are already familiar with this book. I think I want to show it again. One moment, one moment, I will... Okay, this is our first thing, our first book. And here is our notice. You are already familiar with this book. I think it will be good for you to read it in the language that it was originally intended for. Exactly. Enjoy the American for adults only lol, <laughs> absolute chaos and calamity. I don't know what's calamity, but it sounds like... Uh, like, uh, yes, chaos. Uh, maybe like uh, something forbidden too okay it will be here next works by dal yes we've seen it already i'm excited for you to read boy and go in. by the way i've read books of roll dal like in the first uh, month or even previous there we were how many 20 books of uh, almost 20 books of uh, 15 15 to 20 books of Roald Dahl and I've read them on one month, really, like, like drinking them fully, pouring inside of me. These are listed as autobiographies, did in his signature style that you love. Mm-hmm, amazing. I, maybe I will, uh, I will uh, 
try to use his tools to to f formulate my own style too. The other two, I believe, will be new additions to your growing collection. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Going solo. Oh, going solo. Something I heard about this book. Going solo. We we have this. I I heard going solo somewhere. So nice smell of paper. You maybe don't, uh, don't uh, realize uh, what's the smell, what's the smell, but uh, I don't know. But smell smells nice. I know you know it. Crime and punishment, no description know it, uh, needed. I know you know it. Babe holds the Indian in the cupboard and the incredible journey. When I was young, all these books were made into really great movies. I need to Google, by the way, Babe. One moment, babe, babe, one moment we will Google it, maybe it is what I knew, babe was speaking with us, yes, maybe it is about it, babe running, babe running, running, let's Google it, run, babe run, book, uh, pick, okay, run, pick, uh, yes, maybe, 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 maybe it is about it, it's like a Garfield. <laughs> and, okay. And uh, that's amazing. Okay. I googled some pictures. I will show you right now. Mm -hmm. And okay. Let's continue reading. Because I, I have never read uh, any of this in full. So I'm excited to know your perception of them. You, as a Russian man, may read them without the pre preconceived feeling I have. Stay stemming from treasured childhood memories surrounding the popular beloved films. Yes, I don't know the Indian in the Comport, The Incredible Journey. Maybe The Incredible Journey. Need to Google it. Do I know it? Uh, the Incredible Journey. The Incredible Journey. What's it all about? No, I didn't see this. I didn't see this. And uh, the Indian in cupboard, uh, cupboard, Indian in the cupboard, cupboard. We, I even didn't see maybe. Yes, I didn't see this too. It will be really interesting to see this movie. Maybe it is interesting because I see some pictures and they are fascinating. It is what we have uh, miracle of science. Do, do you know miracle of science? Miracle, miracle of science. We have uh, specific sitcom, sitcom, or something. No, with Chudisa Nauki in Russian language. One moment, I will Google it. Chudisa Nauki. What's the name of it? Weird science. And the Indian in the cupboard looks the same. I will show you right now. It is the, the weird science. Yes. <laughs> And uh, it is where where this uh, it reminded me about it almost. Where is photo? Photo, photo, photo. I found it here. Looks like the same, <laughs> almost. But one more for adults, one more for for children. Okay. Orange is the new black i know very little about this one except that netflix has made this book insanely popular i haven't watched or read it but it seems that most of americans have so here's a copy for your english collection did you hear about my like uh, wanting to read this book if yes let me know because if you kind of predict it it is really interesting <laughs> i know you know this books harry potter lord of the rings and narnia I will read it in a way of first Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. I like them both, but Harry Potter maybe first. And then Lord of the Rings, next Narnia. I know you know these books. Some of you have even memorized by heart. Yes, exactly. In a hole in the ground, they lift a hobbit. Lol. I wanted to add to your series in English. Yes, yes. And I know many phrases from these books in Russian language too. Okay, thank you. A Christmas Carol. This is one of my favorite Christmas stories. A real classic that I'm sure you know a variation of. Christmas story. A real classic that I'm sure you know. Christmas Carol? I remember we 
we've seen it already Christmas Carol something one moment I will Google Christmas Carol ah it is Charles Dickens yes I I've heard about it yes I've seen I've said already about my English studying time and uh, one more video about uh, my journey of reading books I will create it like milestones folk and fairy tales as you well know America I, I like fairy tales by the way I read them a lot I have uh, like uh, runny bread gingerbread bread too America is a very young I have read it America is a very young country exactly uh, made up of many cultures and such therefore our classic children's stories are usually a retelling of old stories already told elsewhere Boom might be the exception to this with works like Wizard of Oz Wizard of Oz my mom it's uh, my favorite book of my mom Wizard Wizard one moment Wizard of Oz Boom did hear yes Frank Baum wrote it maybe my mom will read it ah we don't have it or we have it okay I will open it and I will check one moment where is it where is where is where is somewhere there something there American top ah here Frank Baum do we have here the box of robbers one moment maybe we have a condition uh, like uh, what's inside in Russia we always have contents what's inside but in English books uh, I don't see them so much I don't know why one moment maybe need to yes we don't have it <laughs> okay let's maybe we have it maybe not with enchanted types N need to find a book of the Wizard of Oz in uh, in uh, English language for super mega beginners. My mom maybe will start learning English before because of it. It is her favorite book. S uh, two days, three, four, four days ago she said it to me on on Saturday. Okay, Bo might be the exception that we works like Wizard of Oz. There are a few of his famous short stories, each full of fantasy. Maybe the only true American fairy tales. Mm -hmm. We also have tall tales of folk tales, like retold from one to another. These stories originate from the frontier days. And we were used... I don't know what is frontier days, but... Uh, maybe need to learn it. Are, and we were used as pastime times and entertainment they have been passed down generation after generation by vocal retel retelling yes it is like in russia we have the same retelling from one to each, uh, to another vocal retelling need to learn this word like phrase vocal retelling okay i imagine camp the fire circles with elderly people telling old stories that have been exaggerated over time yes yes yes, yes. nice nice description Thank you. <laughs> Each version being a little bit different than the last, but based on a central character and the and theme. I wanted you to be able to read these well-known tales and give you a grasp on that small part of our American fantasy literature. Amazing. It is uh, more like a fantasy of uh, medieval. No, medieval. Maybe 18th, 18th century fantasy. Interesting to look at this. Okay, to kill a mocking boar and Uncle Tom's cabin. Yes, it is uh, like uh, super, super mega classics. Both of these are step staples in English lead classes. Uh, what is staples? Staples, it is a stapler. Are representing different troubling times in our country. And knowing the basics behind them will help uh, in your journey of understanding America. True. Fully. Period. G Gulliver's Travel, a great tale of adventure and exploration, a literally classic, known worldwide. Exactly true, known worldwide, even in Russia. And I have it too. Uh, maybe... No, it is uh, on my father's house right now. Maybe. Right now, pla placed. Uh, or maybe even in this 
in this house we have it too need to check it from my grandma uh, like speak about it i'm curious to know if you as a russian have been exposed to this work i am curious to know if you as a russian have been exposed to this work i a diary of anne frank i uh, I was reading a bit in a book bridge. It is a store, Russian, Russian store for books of English literature. We have two bookstores in Russia, what I know. It is uh, book bridge and also Anglia. That's all. It is what we know. And all books, they are not American. They are more uh, British. Yes, what we have in Russia, I want to describe you. We have in Russia all stuff from Britain, not stuff from America. That's what we have. Okay, a diary of Anna Frank. Yes, I'm familiar with it. Uh, so I, I already said it. And uh, it will be really interesting to read it uh, in English. And also, I, I'm familiar in a brief, brief story. And uh, it will be really interesting to know more. Okay, crushing it. America has a Santa tradition of Julius writing him letters and asking for a particular gift. Thank you. What's your Santa's letter? You can you can let me know, by the way. Because uh, so soon I have there behind it. I have one gift. And uh, it is already prepared. Some of the finishing need to finish uh, with... Uh, I will not say it. Okay, it will be a surprise. <laughs> uh, you like surprises? I will not tell you. Okay, Santa has helper elves who help him fill this Christmas wishes for good boys and girls around the world. Thank you, I'm a helper elf. <laughs> Thank you a lot, a lot, really. It is a book that I needed, uh, like not needed because uh, I have all information in Russia, but it is a book that I wanted a lot, so much. But I think that I needed it, maybe, because we don't know what we needed. Like, uh, we can say, I need it, I need it, but uh, truly we should appreciate what we have already, yes? It means that I uh, wanted it, yes. There was a mess up with the printing, so I did some old-fashioned copy and paste. We, we have read it, English, did okay. America goes metric, spoiler alert, no we didn't, and hopefully we never will. Lol. Uh. <laughs> I... I Consider that it should be a joke, I don't understand, because of my knowledge of America, cultural experience. Spoiler alert, no, we didn't. Ghost metric. Ghost metric. Something like play of words, it should be a pun. Kalambur in Russian language, I don't know. Uh, I don't understand it now, maybe I will understand it uh, after a few years, like with a comedy direction, when I understand what uh, this comedian says, and uh, I understand some background around this, then I understand it better. And I can laugh even. I don't understand it fully, but okay. And hopefully we know we will, lol. Okay, I spotted this workbook with its eye sketching cover and I thought it might be neat for you to study on the sub exactly. And uh, this uh, book aligns it with the metric system which you and the rest of the world uses. Maybe we don't have Fahrenheit, by the way, in Russia. And uh, sometimes it is kind of hard to calculate it. And you use it daily, yes? And uh, we have uh, Celsius. And uh, it is like a joke from Pulp Friction about uh, Big Mac, low Big Mac. And in Russia we have uh, Big Mac, <laughs> this pronunciation. And uh, what's in Ukraine? In Ukraine it will be Big Mac, but uh, E will be uh, like uh, in English, Big with that like this and with point okay this book uh, because i know uh, ukrainian experience and slav experience of another countries like kazakhstan sometimes uzbekistan too but it is not uh, slavic but uh, they are near allies okay and uh, this book uh, academic system which you in order to do it seems to be written for industries and touches on a wide range of units yes maybe i think that it is uh, a book that my mom will like it too, because my mom is a 
personal personal coach for mathematics and uh, and how to say it correctly mathematics and physics and maybe she will like it too arithmetics too and uh, she does uh, personal trainings on these skills for children okay for the 1975 metric conversion act that was passed but never implemented i'm hoping this may make it easier for you to understand our system and give you a whole new americanized vocabulary for measurement yes love you forever i don't know what this this book was released when my mommy was carrying me in her oh jesus christ it, it has a lot of story and i love you a lot of words. Love you forever. Story for many years. By the time my little brother was born, I had memorized the words. Oh, I have a brother. Have a good day, brother. From Russia. From Podolsk. Jackie's brother. Hello. <laughs> okay. By the time my little brother was born, I had memorized the words. So I would read it to him. Oh, it means that you, you was a reader. You was a voice actor like in the beginning years uh, you had a starting point of your career and uh, even as a small child i knew it had a spe special and very sweet heartfelt meaning okay it will be interesting to to read because uh, interesting yes you may want to film and read this book out loud the first time to catch a sincere reaction this book might make you cry oh <laughs> Uh, it makes me right now cry a bit, really. I have kind of feeling right now. Okay, Cardori Cardoroy. Uh, reading, reading this makes. Okay, Cardoroy. This children's book. Oh, Jesus, my throat is sore again. Let's drink. This children's book is very well known here in America. And one I was fond of when I was very small. Maybe your young Russian audience might enjoy hearing a translation read by teacher and mentor Igor. Corduroy, yes, maybe, maybe, maybe. About uh, Cat in the Hat already, they already known. And uh, you kind of predicted in this phrase that this phrase teacher and mentor Igor. <laughs> the Cat in the Hat comes back bringing more tricks friends and gadgets uh, with him for a daily field with nonsense uh, yes it will be good it will be good so nonsense i like it and it is not a nonsense by the way uh, yes i understand that it is nonsense how all people around the world describe it but for me for me current i think that uh, all words of Roald Dahl and uh, dr seuss it is not a nonsense it is a type of mindset like when we start to think, oh, oh, it is a torture, torture who who on my ceiling right now crawling, and it is our Chiburashka here. Uh, Chiburashka is a gift. It is. Oh, I have one more idea, <laughs> and it is uh, from Olympic Games uh, 1980 in uh, USSR. Back in USSR. By the way, what kind of music do you like? Do you prefer? let me know in the comment section and your mom likes to maybe i will learn it i found one interesting thing today that i can learn any song easily by rewriting it by memory i found it before i was uh, speaking them and it was hard to me to remind them because my throat is sorry a lot but when i rewrite them then I feel like I'm not soaring this throat and also I learned it. Today I learned one Alexander Bloch. Do you know his... Uh, do you know this uh, writer in Russia? Poetry writer. Alexander Bloch. Alexander Bloch uh, poetry. I learned one already today about night, about, uh, about lantern, about pharmacy. <laughs> Something like this. It is, you can Google. Night, pharmacy light 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 uh, bulb or something like this alexander block you will find it i i hope you will find one moment what's the name of it it is so short alexander block and here is uh, night street lamp yes we'll translate it right now drugstore yes 
Night, Street Lamp, Drug Store, Adult and Meaningless Lights. <laughs> yes. It is, uh, it is about Circle of Life. And about uh, everything meaning everything and everything meaning nothing. It is uh, some thoughts that we have in our minds. Okay, English Building Vocabulary. I believe this book is fairly comprehensive. Yes, I, I'm i super mega smart genius and uh, wunderkind and so like uh, Leonardo da Vinci of understanding English. <laughs> yes, I understand it really. And, uh, and you are, my viewer who is watching it right now, you are too in your field or maybe on polymath thing. I, I consider myself as a polymath, really. Maybe you can see this right now, maybe you can, you can see this, but results will speak after maybe five, eight, six years, and you will see this. I said it already. Uh, it is uh, you can uh, link timeline in the descript in the comment section below, like this timing, and I predict it. When I will be twenty nine or something like this, you will find it. Really, because I started my journey of learning something only when I when I started to be seventeen years old. Right now, I'm twenty three. I'm on my, like, a little bit of half journey, and I already learn, learn music from beginning. Like, right, like, playing piano, not f super nice, singing from the beginning. Like, n n I have never ever tried to sing, but I learned it. Also, I started to learn drawing a bit. It is a working place right now. Also, I started to learn ukulele, guitar, and uh, English too, and... Uh, Everything, everything is achievable. As Bruce Lee said, everything that you can imagine, you can do this. Or uh, someone else said. Okay. I believe that, um, of course, some small things. And also, I will understand every word of it when I will, uh, will learn them. Okay. Right now, I do write in this, your letter, and then I will learn these words and I will understand it better. The most thing that you should do in your life it is work and patience like you wrote me about uh, like success is it is work passion plus something else plus love especially and uh, yes thank you thank you for this formula variables are correct i give you a plus 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 <laughs> okay joking and uh, i believe this book is Fairly comprehensive. I think it's a good start for your level of English learning. Exactly. I know how important sounding American is to you. This book will be an incredible help with your... That's amazing, because I don't have uh, pronunciation guides uh, in Russia. We have some something, but they are written by Russian. And it means something like... Oh, what? Uh, and you will sound more like Russian, not American. Like, for example... Pronounce these words this way. Like uh, W, you should say U. Like welcome, welcome. Please say it after me. Okay? And uh, they write this way. And you will not understand it fully, but in this type of, uh, this, uh, type of American describing describing you will understand better sorry for putting it on the floor i i think that it's nothing i i mean that uh, nothing that it is lying on the floor because it is cleaned and cleared because uh, sometimes someone may trigger on uh, oh jesus why do you place it here my my father triggered on it and uh, i think that it's uh, it's okay uh, be because uh, it is clear, clear place, super mega clean, clean, and I clean it almost every day. And uh, I can place it here, but it will be like piles here, and uh, it is comfortable right now here. Then I will replace it. Okay, it is some thoughts inside of my. I know how. Imp okay, the first two sections will help with your writing. Super. Because you... <laughs> Alrighty then! <laughs> okay? <laughs> because you will see there is a difference in the spelling of certain words. Mm-hmm. Like uh, color and color. Or maybe... Uh, what type of words you have more? I know only color and color right now. Maybe I will remind something. Y if you can, you can write in the description below. Color. With, with you and without you. With five letters and... Uh, Six. Our language is very confusing. By the way, I learned how to pronounce words 
like spelling, spelling words. I ha I remember how I was looking at some Simpsons series <laughs> when I was a child and they were speaking in Russian language like uh, bukva. Bukva is a letter in Russian language uh, word and they were pronouncing it B -u -k -v -a, B-U-K-V-A, and it is the same like a letter L-E-T-T-E-R and uh, we don't do this in Russia and it was something new for me in English language and uh, I uh, started to be better in it I can spell right now words better okay our language Jesus, I want to read it right now <laughs> our language is very confusing and it's uh, even harder when you don't hear or use it uh, in everyday life exactly this makes homographs third section uh, third section pages uh, 103 one, two, oh, one. very tricky yes it's tricky tricky uh, you can google this song <laughs> because you also have to hear the difference to know what is correct when aud audible communication isn't available. Jesus, I'm super mega hilarious, I understand it right now, when I read this and uh, do some of the association of tricky and something. Really, because uh, what, what made me this type of person, maybe parenting, a lot of parenting from a not really good example and with a good example, because I had to... Uh, to uh, to different uh, parents, like uh, fathers and stepfather. And uh, half of the life we were with a misery a bit, and half of it uh, without misery, without uh, home violence. This uh, makes uh, homo... Because you also have to hear the difference to know what is correct. When audible communication is now available, I believe this type of book might be the next best thing. Thank you. For example, there are words that you say that I know you know the meaning of and you are conveying the correct context, but you are saying the wrong pronunciation for the meaning and or tense. Exactly, because I need to learn um, AIP or something like this uh, correct pronunciation, like th, th or th, th. Need to learn them, uh, how to pronounce. I know one channel. I forgot the name. <laughs> American pronunciation. You can type it, and you will find them. Uh, you will find their channel with uh, how much? Uh, Three million uh, subscribers. This channel was recommended to me by one girl, by my classmate girl, and uh, sh Rachel's English. I think this channel, and I learn uh, American pronunciation from this channel. But she's so uh, on this channel. She's like correct she's nice but she's not super mega entertaining like comedians <laughs> yes i like to learn english from comedians it is funny and uh, okay look at pages but okay i i understood it thank you look at page one two one one five five won't won't and as i don't know correct correct as in the kitten had many wounds Learn this one first. Wounds. Wounds. Uh, wounds uh, pronounce uh, in, in a song of Ed Sheeran, Give Me Love. Wounds. Yes, learn this one first. I made you a few notes in this section. One moment, where is it? You wrote something inside, wow. One moment, uh, page number one to one. Exactly! Whoa! <laughs> it is a quest! <laughs> Let's join our quest! Yes, in our... Uh, what? Mm. Lord of the Rings journey. Okay, wind. We, oh, we have this pronunciation. Yes, I will learn it from it. Yes, it is what I needed. It is super mega what I needed. Oh, you made something like... Uh, Writing, it's amazing. You invested time. Thank you a lot. I appreciate investing time. Different pronunciation. Injuries. Jack saw a wound, past tense of wind. Wind. The teacher told us to wind up our ropes, but mine was already neatly wound up. Ah, we have here. Wound and wound. An injury. To injure. And past tense and past particle form of wind. Whoa, whoa. 
wound and wound. Ah, yes, I understand, I understand. Here's wind or wind, twist or trap. Ah, we have wind and wind. Yes, I understand it right now. Yes, I understand what you... you Jesus, you have a nice and neat uh, writing, calligraphy. And uh, you are like a... Who is ambidexter? <laughs> no, uh, ambidexter is this uh, person who knows uh, how to write right and left, uh, left uh, hand the same quality, but uh, I mean that with a nice quality, amazing. Okay, wound. Okay, okay, I understood. I understood what you, uh, you, what you mean, Jack. So, a uh, wound, yes? No, 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 wound on the kitten's leg, yes? And uh, for past tense of wind, it will be wound. Yes, here's Jack. So, a uh, wound on the kitten's leg, past tense of wind. The teacher told us to wind up our ropes, but mine was already neatly wound up. Yes, 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 exactly. And another. He was careful not to wound her other leg. It will be super mega. It will be my new lex next level of pronunciation. It is so valuable. Amazing. I will practice it. And I will record videos. Would you like to see kind of progress? I understand that sometimes I want to... Post it like a documentation. I use this channel pr primarily for documentation. I started using it like a documentation. And sometimes I feel, oh Jesus, I have uh, a little bit of followers. Maybe they will not like it that I only practice, practice, practice and uh, don't show them something valuable. But I understand that after f five years when my, my English, English will be super mega amazing, then I will bring value them through this learning process of documentation. It is like an autobiography. It is uh, not a micro, it is macro macro perspective some of the okay webster you can also check out webster online diction oh thank you for uh, tools and research things resources website online dictionary to help with hearing it said correctly if the book explanation is confusing exactly exactly some of the stuff you may not understand solely with this book but it may help you recognize that these words possibly have different pronunciation Yes, and it, uh, it will made me like a thing, ah, two pronunciation, and I will ask on this video. Hey guys, I have some like uh, 50 examples of it, and uh, can you please help me with it to understand it better? And you will maybe bring something to, to provide value to. Okay, thank you, thank you a lot. And uh, leading you to test the pronunciation, possibly have... Uh, words, but it may help you recognize that these words possibly have different pronunciation, leading you to look for more information elsewhere. I hope this not only expands your English vocabulary, but also helps correct it. Yes, it, it is uh, what I needed, because we are like a sculptures, architects. We have marble, yes, we collect it with our picks, with, with our axes, with our specific tools like hammers. We collect Firstly, this marble to our home, it is our base of data. It will be painting, it will be words, it will be specific notes, it will be specific pronunciation types for music, tooth, vowels, alignment, and uh, something, this uh, strange words, yes, maybe for someone else uh, strange. And uh, we have this like a base, it is database, and then we should use it for specific correctness, need to bring more correctness to this. Yes, here and there and here and there. And not good pronunciation, like incorrect, is correct. Why? I imagine that you are a Hagrid. <laughs> it is so... <laughs> Hagrid from Harry Potter. <laughs> you maybe didn't expect this. <laughs> yes, I imagine that you are a Hagrid. Did you read a uh, Harry Potter book? He was speaking this like Arnold Schwarzenegger, this type of uh, speech. Yes, and uh, it is important to know how to say it correct and incorrect. For specific... Uh, how to say it correct? Uh, for s s suitabilities. You will have more... 
уместность in Russian language. I forgot what's name, uh, what's uh, the word in English. In Russian language, it is уместность means that uh, for specific things you will use it in a correct situation. I forgot what's name, availability, something on A started. I love the, the availability. I will, I will Google right now. I want to say this word because uh, I have some gestalt inside of me. Umiestnost. Appropriative, yes. A. Like I said. <laughs> okay. Who is genius? No, I, I don't want to be like a person who says to, uh, to everybody, I am a genius. No, I don't want to be this way. But I feel it instead of me. Uh, okay. Lady, but also helps correct it. Correct. Also note, the examples of sentences I hand wrote may not be grammatically correct when written. It's okay. Nobody's perfect. And uh, even uh, for English, changes every day. And uh, plus one more word, like uh, brainstorming, like uh, blamestorming, like uh, <laughs> we have brainstorming, we have blamestorming. Did you know what is blamestorming? I learned this word today. It is uh, the the process of finding who is uh, who is fault in this company for like uh, leading less uh, worth a net or something capital, something that it's not super valuable to us. Valuable is heart and this, not a book in a way of books, but feeling that someone have caring you, like caring, I mean that uh, care. The best marketing strategy, do you know one word, care, okay? Also note the examples of sentence I hand wrote may not be, okay, I... I am only using it in the realm of common speech. Yes, yes, it's amazing. It's really nice when you use it in your correct in your speech that you use because it is our experiences. Like uh, Bruce Lee said, uh, <laughs> said it already. A wise man will find, a wise man will find treasure inside of the silly question or silly word, but silly person will not find even something wise in a super mega wise sentence or a question or to, or a book yes silly person and uh, i understand it so mind set fullness oh i think that after orange and packing the box tightly this time yes i have read it i think that i found everything it is one of the valuable thing not thing, but letter. Thank you. I will save it also. I have one saved there. Really. Sword, sword, sword. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, believe me, in my words, it is some, something here. Yes. It is my memories, even from previous year, nice, amazing Igor, and we will be counting stars. We are changing. That's amazing to look at it. I'm not super sorry, but uh, I mean that I'm, I want to say, excuse me for not, uh, excuse me for, uh, for this long video, if you are not Jackie or Regina or brother of uh, Jackie and uh, but uh, I'm sorry for long long video but I understand this kind of documentation it is interesting I wanted to show it not in a way like a hey guys today we're gonna learn what I have in my uh, in my box, what's unboxing? Okay, let's do this together and uh, then this first, two, second, third. I want to make it real. And uh, like I read it uh, with you right now, you are sitting here, you are smiling. Oh, Igor opens this. Uh, Jesus Christ, what will be? What he will say? And uh, I, I do this in this way, not uh, in a way of uh, like jumping. I don't know what's use of it. It is uh, one of the thing that I don't understand. For what? 
need to google it <laughs> really i thought that it's kind of like for baseball <laughs> i can use it even on my ear <laughs> Yes, okay, and thank you. It will be useful, maybe. What? Maybe I will. Ah, maybe it is like this way. Maybe it is correct form, but I don't know. No, it is not super correct size. Maybe maybe need to use less size, or is it. I don't know. I don't want to crash it in the first day. Like, you know, someone, someone gifted to you something and you broke it in the first day. One moment. <laughs> my mom bought me yo-yo. Yo-yo, do you know? Yo-yoing. And uh, my mom bought me yo-yo in my... What's... Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, on my... I was 13 years old and I, I broke it in the first day really she bought me yo-yo i wanted it a lot it was super mega cl super class and interesting yo-yo and uh, it was uh, with a super high and uh, super mega price really it was eagle name of it eagle yo-yo eagle and it costed uh, for us for those times like almost 5000 rubles or something like this 5000 rubles i imagine it is almost 100 dollars for those times and it is almost like one sixth part of salary and we are not a super rich uh, family we are uh, we are on a low middle class right now between it and uh, I hope you understand that it was so shocking to me. I didn't say it to my mom, by the way. Okay, <laughs> but uh, I don't want to break uh, break it. And uh, but need to say it to my mom it and need to thank you to her a lot. She she was doing for me a lot. Like uh, she was uh, gifting books. She was gifting for me specific uh, Einstein uh, Einstein. Uh, physics things i don't know uh, some of the modeling stuff but uh, for electronics you have resistors you have a specific like a uh, key radio here some of the radio techniques uh, like uh, you shared to me this store with uh, radio yes okay thank you a lot thank you a million thank you like a uh, super mega thank you th thank gorgeous i want to say yes thank gorgeous it is the super biggest like no super thank gorgeous <laughs> like this or even super duper thank gorgeous for it and uh, it was uh, super mega meaningful to me and uh, i understand that it is so like nobody gifted to me and uh, yes only my mom uh, gifted it to me before before i started to be older because uh, right now she d don't understand uh, she doesn't understand fully like what i need because uh, we uh, kind of we have specific interests right now and it is so mega unique interest and sometimes uh, i understand that i don't need anything because uh, I have myself, I have my mom, I have my family, I have uh, like people around me, I am thankful for it and uh, I understand that it will be nice to have something or... Okay, but it is so big, it is uh, like I could receive it, I imagine, I'm like five years old and I, I'm right now like a Dudley, Dudley from, uh, from Harry Potter. And I'm not yelling that 37, but first uh, 27, but f previous year was 26, <laughs> like 28. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm not yelling this way. I mean that uh, I understand that so big amount of uh, things. I'm right now feel like I'm Harry Potter who received Dudley's uh, Dudley's presence. I feel this way right now. Really, it is uh, the current situation what I have right now. It is like a uh, shocking, like uh, you can more understand if i will wear it yes i'm a harry potter i'm harry <laughs> yes i i did not expect the expect that uh, i will receive dudley's birthday birthday uh, gifts <laughs> and uh, 
that's amazing and uh, before i want to say that before i was receiving gifts like uh, in a way of uh, like one book or one like uh, what's it? when you play games uh, cupboard no cupboard when you play games with friends alias and monopoly specific game board game board game uh, like uh, i received it and it was, was a gift for a birthday and uh, it is a nice gift but here so big amount of books plus calendar plus uh, this uh, kazoo uh, thing kuze and uh, kuze cuisine okay and uh, also some letters also flag from previous uh, gift uh, by the way <laughs> I don't know, but uh, no, I, I it's not really uh, it's not really fair. It will be not fair. Okay, I but I want to say no need no need to do this to only like uh, if I deserve it. Okay, if I not deserve it, no need. Okay, I want super big, not big, but uh, flag of America to wear it here. It will be nice. I want to collect flags of English speaking countries. And uh, it will be interesting. I I really am so excited like to wear it here. It will be so <laughs> like I don't know. It will be like uh, agent, double agent, uh, like Edward Snowden is here appeared. Okay, and uh, thank you a lot, Jackie. Thank you a lot, uh, Regina. Thank you a lot, brother of uh, Jackie. If you've seen it, hello to you. I don't know your name, but uh, hello. Thank you for everybody who was watching too. It was uh, one hour 46 minutes journey of opening it and it was super exciting and I improved my English a lot for uh, thanks for Jackie and uh, I improved my mentality a lot thanks for Jackie too and thank you a lot for caring because it is uh, more act of caring giving and uh, things guys please understand it if you have someone who you like and uh, in your life please do the same things it will be so pleased and so it this person will be so amazing and happily to receive it thank you a lot and i understand that it is uh, I, I, I i i don't know I wanted to say that I maybe in the future I will receive it uh, a lot from another fans or maybe because I'm growing yes I understand and uh, maybe in the future I will receive it a lot from another uh, another viewers on Russian language because my channel uh, channels are growing and I understand that growth is continuing and I have more and more fans on both sides and uh, i understand that maybe someone will send it 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 and right now i can really super mega thank you for it to invest time to make sustainable connection and uh, it is so meaningful thank you a lot i love you guys i love you jiki i love you regina i love you brother of uh, of uh, jiki i don't know what's name of you <laughs> but okay you mentioned then everything is fine you kind of have a friendship with uh, Jackie, then friends of Jackie are my friends. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> to say it correct. Okay, stop talking, uh, I already said. I, I think you understand my feelings. Thank you a lot for this. It's amazing to have a writing. And I want to say that I uh, need, need to check another letter and to see how how improved your uh, your writing because writing says about us, uh, about us a lot it says about our mental conditions about our psychology about our uh, ways like one letter will be to this side another letter will be to this side and then one letter will be next changed but to another side too it uh, means that something changed on this for example on the letter okay we'll use x x x uh, x uh, letter you will use it yes someday and uh, you will write it x here and x there and some changing with the uh, angle can mean can mean any uh, may mean everything like here he was happy here he's more like 
a for real maybe something else okay thank you a lot for watching again see you next time it was igor russian man who brings value through my own experiences and uh, don't forget guys to always improve self daily always go forward to your dreams share kindness and everything will be fine see you next time it was igor bye bye thank you a lot check regina and the brothers